we've been uh, very much involved in basic science of traumatic brain injury, working through translational imaging uh, techniques, and we've learned a lot about how imaging might benefit, uh, benefit in, uh, in terms of translating our findings to the clinic. So about five or six years ago, we moved over to human imaging, and ever since our goal has been to get as close as possible uh, to, uh, to, to the uh, processes that, are under, uh, that, uh, that underlie uh, the progression of, if you want to call it the disease or the progression or uh, neurodegeneration of the tissue, that has been our focus to, to understand non-invasively what underlying processes are in the brain. So as of right now, we've put in um, close to about 350 to 400 patients. We have longitudinal imaging data as well as longitudinal behavioral data as well as the ANAM. So all of that is officially in FITPER as of March 31st, right on the deadline. I think it'll, it'll benefit our research a lot because a lot of times the, the um, analysis we do, especially on human studies of TBI, isn't really replicable. So if I do a study with 40 patients and someone else does the same study with a different 40 patients, we may get different answers. And so I think this data sharing will be very helpful for us to be able to kind of combine that data as well as be able to kind of test what we find in, in kind of independent samples. So that's kind of our big hope out of FIPR. I think what we and others are doing is extremely important. As of today, none of the mild TBI patients ever get followed up. They leave, they come, get an initial evaluation, and they go home, and then to find out six months later they're having these underlying symptoms, that was probably because of the TBI that they suffered. I think our goal is to, by through this collaboration through FITBUR, is to get to a nice understanding of this disease process and to identify that mild patient, the next mild TBI patient that comes through, whether or not this mild TBI person needs further evaluation. I think that's our goal. I think, uh, and that's a, that's a very, uh, very ambitious goal, but I think that's where we need to get to.